All right, so uh, moving ahead now, we want to talk about how two key federal programs that provide unemployment benefits to millions of Americans are set to expire the day after Christmas, a little over a month away. So unless Congress uh, takes action, a new report estimates that 12 million people will lose benefits they desperately need during the pandemic. Well, we're watching out for you tonight with a search for a lifeline. Our Lindsay Nadrich has information on this. Lindsay. Yeah, well, here in Oregon, I'm told as many as 70,000 people are set to lose unemployment benefits when those two programs expire December 26th. And for a lot of people, that's the safety net that's allowed them to continue paying bills and rent. So people are worried. Carol Tricoche is among those who will lose her unemployment benefits. She works in the travel and tourism industry and qualified for the Pandemic Unemployment Assistance Program, or PUA, which allowed gig workers and those who are self-employed to get unemployment benefits for the first time. PUA is one of the programs that's ending, leaving people like Carol without any other benefit options. Just, you know, what's next? Where, where do we go from here? Because once we don't have the essentials, just the money that they're giving now is not even enough for the essentials. If we don't have that, do we live in the streets? Where do we, where do we go from here? Well, along with PUA, the Pandemic Emergency Unemployment Compensation Program, or PEUC, also ends the day after Christmas. That program provided an additional 13 weeks of benefits for people who used up their state benefits. While some in that program may qualify for extended benefits, a lot won't, according to the Oregon Employment Department. And even if Congress were to act now to keep these programs going, OED says at this point it'll be tough to implement without there being some kind of break in coverage and keep in mind this is all happening as the number of people who need these unemployment benefits rose for the first time in five weeks because of the surge in COVID-19 cases reporting live I'm Lindsay Natterch, Quinn 6 News. Thanks Lindsay. Now